Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the Electrical Question of the Day. What is the maximum height of a main breaker handle above the floor or working platform when it's in its highest position? And the correct answer is six feet, seven inches. Now let's just imagine for a second that you've had a customer call you and they want you to come out and give them an estimate on doing a panel change. You give them the estimate, they're excited, they say yes, they've got an old nasty Federal Pacific in this bedroom and they're going to contract you to change it out. Well, when you get there on that day, you see, hey, the main breaker here at this height, no big deal. It's a little bit smaller panel and they've set it a little bit lower. Well, when you get your new panel, nice 40 circuit panel, you find out that it's a whole lot bigger and that main breaker is going to be much higher than the previous main breaker. The question today is how high can that main breaker be located off the floor legally? Well, the correct answer is six foot seven, like we learned. So you're like, let's imagine in this situation that it's going to end up being six foot nine, this main breaker, because these new panels are so large and your hole coming in the back is dictating kind of the height of that panel based off of the outside equipment. Happens all the time. So you decide that you're going to flip this panel upside down and put your main breaker on the bottom. Not a problem. As long as the breaker goes from left to right, then you're okay. It cannot ever be installed that if it's an up and down breaker, that it's in the off position while it's up. But if you have a side to side breaker, you can likely flip that panel upside down and use it with the main breaker on the bottom. But the question is, am I good to go? Do I have any other considerations for this specific code? And the answer is you do. We are not just in the clear. I put the word main breaker in today's question on purpose because it's a big misnomer in our industry that the main breaker is not allowed to be higher than six foot seven. And that's true, not allowed to be higher than six foot seven. But did you know that every overcurrent device in that panel is not allowed to be over six foot seven? As a matter of fact, there are no overcurrent devices that are allowed to be installed above six foot seven unless they're in one of the conditions that are listed below in the code that we're getting ready to cover. Let's look at the paraphrase code language. It says circuit breakers and switches with fuses must be readily accessible and installed so that the center of the operating handle is no more than six foot seven inches above the floor or working platform, unless one of the following exceptions apply. And there are a few exceptions down below, and usually it has to do with supplementary overcurrent protection. So let's imagine you had a piece of equipment and it also had a localized disconnect right there next to the equipment. As long as the, the, the breaker that's feeding that branch circuit is lower than six foot seven and accessible, then it's okay because you can turn it off at a readily accessible location. Then up there, if you want to have another breaker or fuse, that's likely going to be okay. And that's one of the scenarios where you are allowed to do it. But just as a blanket statement, under most circumstances, all of your circuit breakers are going to need need to be below six foot seven. So just keep that in mind. And in my opinion, like in this scenario today, if you flip that panel upside down and let's say you're not even using those unused spaces and you use all of these lower spaces closer to the main breaker and you're like, oh, none of the breakers I've installed today are over six foot seven. If I'm your inspector, I'm going to say that includes also any of the available breaker spaces because we know in the future when someone pulls a circuit in from the top, it is going to like they're likely going to use one of the the one of the ones closer to the top because it's easier it's safer to wire there's not a bunch of wires in their way so just keep that in mind when you're out in the field now that will be subject to your AHJ and how they handle things I am the electrical code coach and my bargain is that these videos will add value to you and you will in turn add value to others if there's anything you ever need from me you can always just email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. If you're enjoying these videos and you want to see some specific topics that we talk about or make these questions about, you can just drop it down in the comments below and I will check them out. If you need anything from me, just give me a shout. Let's get to it.